using the link down below in the description so that you can go along with me and take full advantage of this video. All right, so here we are in the Moomoo app. And the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you even have the ability to trade options. So to do that, you're gonna to wanna to look at this row of icons at the bottom. You're gonna to wanna to tap on a watch list and then you can scroll and pick any stock you want or you can click on the magnifying glass at the top right and type in here in this instance we'll type in tsla which is tesla and click on the one at the top all right now looking here if you take a look at where the price is moving where it says 196.84 and then look below where it says chart and to the right of that it says options if you don't have options and you want to trade options what you're going to want to do is pause this video uh, go to the settings in your account your profile uh, look around on this app and go in and apply to trade options because you will not have this tab with this information or at least i believe you won't if you don't have the ability to trade options so first thing you need to do is apply for the ability to trade options and just so you know some things that are going to get you rejected the main reason that you would really be rejected to trade options is if you have a low risk tolerance, which means when you see questions like, if you were to lose such and such amount of money, would it hurt you, blah, blah, blah. Uh, if your answer is yes, if it's gonna hurt you and you're not gonna be able to bounce back from it, options trading probably isn't for you because that's part of the game and you're gonna get denied. So if that's you, hey, scroll down, smash the like button and this is probably where we should say goodbye. We were together for a good time. Guess not a long time. Now going on, for those of you that have the ability to trade options, let me start off by telling you the tools that Moomoo has for free is amazing. Right here, you get analysis, unusual options activity. A lot of times you have to pay for this kind of stuff. This is one of the big things I love about Moomoo. But that's another video for another time. Uh, getting into trading options and how to actually buy and sell them here what we're going to do is uh, once again we were on tesla we were looking at the chart we're going to click on options and you'll see i have three options just below that chain analysis and unusual activity what you're going to want to do is be on chain and you'll notice there is Put. Puts are what you want to buy if you want to make money off of the price of a stock going down. So right now Tesla is down 50 cents on the day. Say I thought Tesla was going down to 190. I would buy a put on Tesla and make money on the options contract as the value of Tesla went down. Looking at calls, calls are going to be the opposite of a put. As the value of a stock goes up, a call is going to make money to the upside. So looking at Tesla trading at 196, if I thought Tesla was going to 200, I would buy a call on Tesla and the call would profit as the option contract went up. And you see the call section, you see the put section. Now there is also an all section where you can see both of them at once. Uh, the right side is going to be puts and the left side is going to be calls and you'll notice in the middle if we go all the way up to the top you can see it says strike the strike is going to be the price that we're choosing the contract for so for instance if we look at the 190 strike price the put is worth two cents and the call is worth six dollars and 93 cents so the call is actually what's considered to be in the money whereas the put is what's considered to be out of the money Typically, the out of the money contracts, they're gonna have less value because there's no intrinsic value. And the in the money contracts are gonna have value because there is intrinsic value. And I know this may seem like a lot, but this is options. Uh, each options contract is representative of 100 shares. So when you look at it, uh, these prices that you see, like for instance, this 190 strike where it says 692, $6.92, you actually multiply that by 100 and that's how much the contract costs. So this contract would cost $692. That's how much the contract's going for. And then looking to the right for the put, this contract is two cents times 100, which would be $2 for the entire contract. So this is an out of the money put. 
this is an in the money call. Puts are going to be considered in the money as the value of the stock falls. So for instance, scrolling down this little chart, you'll notice the higher the strike price gets. So as we scroll up to look at something like 220, these put contracts are more expensive. And then as we scroll down to lower numbers, you'll see some of them are at zero. And then it's the opposite for calls. In the money, the lower the strike price on a call, the more value is going to be, the deeper in the money it is. So you'll notice at the 170 calls, they're worth almost 2700 or 2690 And then you'll notice once we get to 200 or looking at those same 220s, or they're worth one cent per share or one dollar for the whole contract. Now, before we get in and take a look at and make a trade, uh, we're going to need to understand what's going on in the screen. All right. So understand that every options contract you buy, there is someone on the opposite end selling the contract to you. And for every options contract that you sell, there is someone on the other end selling it to you, which means if you buy a call and it's way out of the money like this, if you have the contract and you try to sell it to someone, no one's going to be there to buy it and you're going to be stuck holding it. And it's going to be the same with the put. If you buy a put way out of the money and you see no one over here wants to buy them, you're going to be stuck holding those. Now, looking at the three columns, you'll notice there is a bid price in the top left. There's an ask and then there is the price. The bid is going to be the highest price that anyone is willing to pay right now. So if someone has an order in, the highest order is going to be what the bid price is. So if you want to get out of a contract right away, sell at the bid price and it'll get filled immediately. On the other end, if you're trying to buy a contract, buying the contract at the ask price is going to get you filled right away because the ask price is going to be the lowest order somebody has ready to sell it at. So that's going to be how you get filled. You can put in numbers to choose your own price, but it won't work out the best for you all the time. And then if you scroll over and look at these things, there are some other things over here, but honestly, that's going to be something to learn at a later date. One last thing I want to stress before we actually get into it is each options contract has a different expiration date. The more time you get on your contracts, the more value they're going to have. So today is an options expiration. So if you look just under a strike, you can see it says zero D, which means all these contracts have zero days until they expire. But if I click on that zero day, it collapses and you can see there's 70, 14 D and that's how many days until these contracts expire. So if we look at a contract, if we look at the 195 call with zero days left on it, it's sitting at $2.09. And the put is sitting at 20. But if we go cl close that and click on 70, you can see the same contract, the 195 on the 70 is at $6.15. And the put is at $4.10. So just know the more time you get on your contracts, the more value there will be. And as time runs down, you will lose the value to time. And actually, if you scroll over, that value time is actually represented as theta. And one last one, just to give you a better example, notice the same contract. This time we got 720 days. That same contract that was initially going for $2.10 is now $65.11. And on the other side, it is $45.75 all because you got almost two years worth of time on the contract. So now let's get ready to buy a call. By this point, I've identified a stock that I wanted to trade options on. I've identified which way I want it to go. And let me show you what the identifier was for me. Here, I'm gonna go to the charts. The stock I wanna trade is Tesla. And uh, the reason I wanna trade it is just because right here we have three minutes left in this candle which is telling me this candle is going to close pretty much as bullish as it can be unless in the last three minutes tesla just falls all the way down here so because of that i am going to get 
a call on Tesla. And this is a call I'm actually expecting to swing into tomorrow. So now that we have identified our trade and let's see where Tesla came from. So the last high before this on Tesla was about 187. So I'm going to uh, try to find something that I think will take that out. So I'm going to get a call on Tesla. Here we are in Moomoo. Moo. I'm going to go over to my watch list. I'm going to click on Tesla. I'm going to hit options. I'm going to hit chain and I can either go to all, but I'm going to go to call just to remove the confusion. And right now I'm on the contracts for this week, but sometimes I like to get more time. Let me see how much their cost going for next week. So some that are a little bit further out, whenever you get more time on your contracts, it's usually better to get more time than less time, especially when you're newer to trading. That way, all the factors that really kind of come into trading don't affect you that heavily. So now uh, I'm going to look at this call right here, this 192.5. I'm going to hit trade right now. It's going for 260. And if I want to buy that right away, I'm just going to put this in right here. Actually here, let me show you what happens if it if you put in below the price it's going for right now. Right here, if you look at where it says Tesla call under symbol, to the right of that it shows 260. That's the price it's going for. Right here, I have a limit order in here for 254. It's now going for 256 if we look back up. Here, let me move that down again. It's coming down. And the number of contracts I'm going to buy is one. Now to show you what it looks like whenever your orders don't get filled right away, uh, I'm just going to hit buy right now because it's less than that. So it shouldn't get filled right away unless the price drops. So I'm going to hit buy. And as we scroll down, you can see that I have an order pending, but you know, it's just pending. It hasn't gone through. And now the order is filled because the price dropped. And if we actually back out, go to accounts and take a look, you can see right here, not this uh, one at the top, but there is a call on the bottom, uh, 192.5 call that I paid 254. All right, right now you can see today's P&L is zero. You can see the total PL is zero. And yeah, and that's all there is to it. Now let's get ready to sell out. All right, so here you can see I'm currently in two positions, one on NEO and one on Tesla. First column is the quantity. That's how many contracts or how much it's worth. At the top on NEO, I have one. This is $1, worth $1. And under that, you see a tiny one. I have one contract. The price and cost uh, is currently going for a tenth of a cent per share, but I paid 20, which is the tiny number under it, which why if you scroll over, you can see I am down $19 or 95% on it. And taking a look at the Tesla calls, you can see that they're currently worth $232 altogether. Uh, I have two of them, which is going to be perfect because I'm going to be able to show you how you can sell out and take profits or just sell out of a position, as well as I can show you how to leave a stop loss or a trailing stop loss. So looking at it, we have two contracts. Uh, I paid an average of $1.15 per share for the whole contract. So a total of 115 for each contract. Oh no, I paid 121. And right now on the day we're up $110, but, but hey, we were down a good amount on those. Overall, we're down $13 on these, but I'm willing to take the hit. Oh, we're up. And, and now Tesla's moving a bit. So now let me sell out while I can take profits on this. So first, in order for me to take profits, I'm going to go to the contract. I'm going to click on it, which is the Tesla call. I'm currently on the contract. I'm going to hit trade. I can see it's going for 120. And then I'm going to have to verify that I'm me down here at the bottom by clicking on this lock. You may have to put in a passcode. I have my face ID set up, but um, at the top, looking at it, you can see like to the right of where it says Tesla call in the green, it shows the price 117. 
uh, if I want to sell it right away, the closer to the price, the closer to that price I sell it, the better. Here, let me put a higher one for you just so you can see what happens when it doesn't sell. And then you have to do the number of contracts you want to sell. I have two, so I'm going to do one. And one thing you can do if you don't know how many contracts you have is if you look down towards the bottom where it says max quantity to sell, there it says two, so I could sell two. And it'll let me put this as high as I want, but it won't. the order won't go through if I try. See, it failed because I don't have enough. But if I try to do two, it'll work. But I'm just going to do one for now just, just in case it does get filled. But I'm going to hit sell. And right there, it shows the order was submitted. And if you scroll down, you can see your orders are still... Like right now, it shows I have one order open and that is still pending. Now you can wait for the order to get filled, which, you know, if you expect the price to come up, that's something you can do. And you can even uh, back out and maybe even go back to this screen and up here next to assets, you can click orders and you can also see the orders. And if you want to make adjustments, once again, I can click on it, click edit and say I want to get it filled right away now. I'll just bring this down. You see it's going for 25. I'll hit sell. And right there, notice it says order filled right away. Uh, down here, filled or canceled, filled. So I took a small profit of, on that, took a profit of $4. So, hey, not too bad. Much better than it started out. All right, and going on, I still have one more contract I'm in. Now I want to show you how it is that we can actually set a trailing stop loss. So going back to it, if I click on the contract, hit trade, then I'm going to put in the order type. It's not going to be a limit. There's a stop if I wanted to set a certain price for it to stop. Like if I said, hey, if it falls to this price, sell out no matter what. Say I am up a good amount on a contract and I want to kind of ride it, but can't really watch it. I can actually do a trailing stop. And you can set the trailing amount. And this is gonna be like say a, a dollar amount, whatever. You put how many contracts. And I'm gonna actually do a ratio. So I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do like 20% or something. As this moves up, I'll actually move it to here. Let me move that to like 10, move that to 10. And then as long as it continues to move up, this will move up as well. And then if it has a 10% pullback, it'll sell me out. So for instance, it's currently at 136. If it runs up to 200 and then pulls back 10%, which is $20 to 180, I'll be locked out in profit. So now I'm just gonna hit sell. And it's just letting me know about the market order risk. Right there, it's saying if it falls below that price, there is no guarantee at what price is going to get filled. This is a risk you take whenever you do it, but as long as it's not from one day to the next, this should be okay. So I'm going to hit continue, and now I have that order in. We're probably not going to get to see this get filled in this video, but looking at it, you can see that we are up on the contract, and as long as we continue to move, Nothing to worry about. If we do pull back, also nothing to worry about because we're still taking profits. Hey, good job. Most people don't make it this far. If you haven't already taken advantage of it, be sure to get your free stocks using the Moomoo link down below in the description or using this QR code right here. If you learned anything or enjoyed the video, be sure to smash the like button. I know you learned something. Smash that like button. And if for some reason you made it this far and haven't already, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and last, but certainly not least, Matthew Manuel signing off, and I want to change your life.